Kitty Books, and today I'm doing the BookTube newbie tag. This was created by Brenda C. I'll link her video down below. I it wasn't tagged, but I also found out about it from Kristen the Bookworm, so I'll link her channel and video down below. Alright, so let's get this started. Number one, why did you start this channel? Well, let's go into a story. This is going to take a bit of time. Um, I started my YouTube channel because I, back in 2006 when YouTube was new, I loved something that they don't do very often called AMVs, anime music videos. And I wanted to create my own favorites so I could find the videos that I liked again. And then I got into music videos and then Universal Music Group deleted all of their videos. That's the majority of music in the world. It's the biggest music company out there and they deleted everything on YouTube. They slowly came back because of Vivo. Then I got into um, the beauty uh, the beauty scene, the beauty gurus, and I was like, you know what? I would love to start doing videos. Um, I don't have much of a camera. I don't have a professional light. I'm using my, my desk lamp right here that's just next to the camera, so that's why I don't look the greatest. Uh, I don't have a very good camera. I have one that works, but I was like, I want to do this, but I don't have very much money, so I can't buy products. I can't test them out. I don't have a Sephora or an Ulta near me. All I've got is a Fry's. And I was like, nye, nye. I don't really have the money to do it. Um, then I found Poland Banana Books, um, her review of City of Bones, because I was kind of trying to watch it for free online. Trying not to be illegal, but kind of being illegal. Um, I couldn't find it. But I watched her review, because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. And I did just didn't see it, but she was hilarious. And I was like, oh, I got to see what other, what other videos this chick does. And I found BookTube. I was like, if I was going to do videos, I want to do them about books, but I don't know. I hadn't found the BookTube community. Well, I stumbled into it. I was like, I saw her video, and two weeks later, I started filming. Um, so that's why I started filming and posting videos, but I started this channel for AMVs years and years and years ago. Number two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to BookTube? What I think is unique about me is my taste in books. Yes, I like young adult. Yes, I prefer fantasy. Yes, I like manga. But I also, my the main books I read are adult books and are, and are middle grade. That's something that's different than most other YouTubers, so, or BookTubers, what? Also, you have a very unique perspective, I think. Oh. Thank you. Number three, what are you most excited about for this new channel? I'm excited to discover more books. I'm excited to do tags and challenges. I'm excited to just do this channel and to just grow and to meet more people. I would love to meet more people. Like Kristen the Bookworm, I met her. Number four, why do you love reading? My parents instilled a big love of reading in me. My dad is a history and English teacher for middle slash high school, or he was. He's doesn't do it anymore. And my mom has a master's degree in teaching reading to young children, like early reading learners. So they really instilled it in me. I didn't learn until first grade. It kind of taught me, you know, way back in the day, any Joe Schmo could go up to somebody and say, this paper says, by the king's order, I have right to own your land. And it's a bunch of tag tag questions and stuff. And it's just this random thing. And because they can't read, they couldn't tell. So I got this really, um, this really uh, powerful love of reading through it. And um, I loved reading so much that when I was finally, I finally, after my very first lesson and I learned a, like five words, maybe 10 words, I went to the bookshelf. Instead of going to a different group and like playing with blocks or something, I went and grabbed a book off the shelf and sat down and read every word that I could. And also I was seriously, seriously bullied, like people threatening to kill me and rape me to death type bullied and reading was a good escape. Although I didn't really get into a ton of series that I loved until like high school, the end of high school and after. Number five, what book or book series got you into reading? Baby Blue Cat and the Whole Batch of Cookies by Ansley Pryor. That really, that was one of the books that um, was read to me a lot as a child. Number six, what questions would you ask your favorite booktuber? Hmm. I think it would have to be, I have so many. I like every booktuber I follow, guys. I don't have favorites. I'm like, I guess I could go with Christine because I discovered her first. So yeah, I'd ask Christine, like, where the frack 
Did you get your ideas for what you're saying in your book talk? She is all over the place. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. she's so silly and fun. And it's like, it's really awesome. But I guess her stuff comes with practice because I've actually watched all of her videos I want to watch. All of them. I'm crazy. So what camera do you use and what lights do you use and how can I get them for cheap? And final question number seven. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Um, for me, it will be my editing. I've never edited a video until recently. At first, I couldn't edit a video at all, and I was like, I really need to get this up, and so I just started fiddling around. So you'll tell. This is not very edited brilliantly. It's not the greatest. It's not very smooth. Um... I don't have very good software. I'm using Windows Movie Maker. So yeah, that would be a big thing is the editing process is the biggest thing for me, I think. Because um, I can go to the library for what books I don't own. Um, I can read online. I can borrow from friends. And I talk to myself a lot. So this isn't like a question, but like if I saw Chris in the bookworm was like, how do you get over that? Talk to yourself. Rehearse. Just babble away. That's what I do. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please comment down below answers to your questions. Um, like, are you a booktube newbie? Uh, what what advice do you have for booktube newbies? Um, mine would be to practice. Just always practice, because I do it like three or four times or more. But, so I got it down, and you can tell when I don't have it down. Yeah, you can tell. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.